Fallout 4 is a game rated M by the ESRB. Hello everyone and welcome back to more Steven Plays Fallout 4. On the last episode, we continued on with the Brotherhood of Steel main quest. We were traveling with Paladin Dance, and we've been working on Liberty Reprimed, which you may know better as that robot from Fallout 3. Um, today we are still working on that, and the next step is to speak to Proctor Ingram, who is conveniently Fellow over here. Okay. <laughs> that's, uh, that's cool. Yo, Dr. you. Ingram. That's all four actuators. Delivered and done. Nice work. Right on schedule. I've completed the restoration of Prime's basic functions, and he's ready to go. In fact, it's getting difficult to explain to the system why it can't move right now. Well, as soon as my scribes get those actuators in place, we'll have his arms and legs installed in no time. Which brings me to your next assignment. It won't be long before Prime can walk and talk, but he's missing one last important element. His nukes. Without them, his offensive systems aren't operating at peak capacity. What's Prime armed with? Prime has two weapon systems, his eye laser and his nuke pack. The eye laser can target a hostile from hundreds of yards out and take it down with pinpoint accuracy. His nukes are modified Mark 28 nuclear bombs. They used to drop the things from bombers during the war. Just one of the nukes is equivalent to about three or four Fat Man shells. Basically, whatever it hits isn't getting up again. His eye laser is almost ready to go, but without nukes to load into his pack, he's fighting at less than half his capability. Shouldn't be a problem. Just tell me where they are. I wish I could. Prime's bomb pack is fitted for Mark 28 nuclear bombs. The same type of bombs that were dropped from aircraft during the Great War. The Commonwealth was a major staging area for the military's air force, so we assumed we wouldn't have trouble finding them. But since we arrived, our scouting teams haven't located a single bomb. That's going to be a problem. Without a fully loaded nuke pack, Prime won't have the firepower to take on the Institute. Hmm. Can I build the nukes like I built the actuators? I could build you a thousand nuke casings, right now. But we've got nothing to put inside them. The Mark 28s have a specialized nuclear payload that requires the correct balance of fissile materials in order for them to detonate properly. In other words, I'd love to mix you a cocktail, but I'm all out of liquor. But before you give up hope, there's actually a silver lining here. Proctor Quinlan has located some records regarding a military installation which was used as a nuclear weapons storage facility. We're fairly certain this included a stockpile of the Mark 28s. The catch is that the installation is located somewhere within the glowing sea. Hmm. What do you mean you're only fairly certain? Are they in there or not? The glowing sea is so heavily irradiated, it's giving us echoed readings and false positives. We're just gonna have to trust the records on this one. Scribe Halen's established a communications point on the frontier of the Glowing Sea. I suggest you head out there first, and establish a signal protocol with her so that the nukes can be airlifted out once you've located them. Hopefully, by the time you've returned, we'll be ready to wake Prime up, and you can say hello. Good luck, Knight. Okay, speak to Scribe Halen. Is Scribe Halen also the person I need to talk to about the, um... No, I need to speak to Scribe Naraya. Uh, I was looking through your comments last episode, and um, there were actually a few of you that were like, Hey, you're here, you should really turn in that stuff. And you're, you're right, you're absolutely right. So I'm actually going to jump up into the Pridwin and give them all my, um... What are they? The technical documents? The technical documents and the blood samples. Where is the... Where's the plane? Never expected Dr. Lee would return to the Brotherhood. But you're not here to discuss history, are you? Are there documents you wanted to turn in? Or were you here to help with a research patrol? Oh god, no. No, I, I have documents. I found some technical documents for you. And they're in wonderful condition as well. Excellent work. Here are the caps that I promised. Remember, the Commonwealth is an almost unlimited source for these technical documents. Check every building you explore during your patrols very carefully, and you might be pleasantly surprised at what you find. Thanks, Time Splitter's character. Why are you still on my 
Oh, is it because even though I gave them to you, you never actually go away? Cool. Scribe Naraya is up here. And I got blood samples for Scribe Naraya. I'm getting a lot of- honestly, that was a lot of caps. That was a considerable number of- it was like almost a thousand. How do I- How do I get up- do I have to go this convoluted way? Were there not stairs that were more easily accessible? Maybe not. All right, here we go. Also, here's that Nern Root. Experimental plant. I took it. Wait, what does it do? I didn't know you could actually use the Nern Root. Uh, aid. Rads 5 HP. Okay, doesn't do a whole lot, but it's interesting. Have you collected any blood samples, Knight? Oh, you know it. Yes, here you go. Thank goodness. I was running low and didn't want to draw any more samples from my specimens. Here's some caps for the trouble. Dang. Between the two, I made over 2,000 bucks. That's pretty impressive. All right, um, so the next thing on the agenda, as I go back over to my data, speak to Scribe Halen over in, hmm, the Glowing Sea. Hmm. I get to go back and get my suit. I get to go do this and that. That's actually a lot of effort. Hmm. You know, it has been a while since we've been in the Institute dealing with that. Maybe that would be more interesting. All right. I'm going to save Liberty Beprimed for now, put that on pause, and instead, I think I'm going to go find out what Sean wants. Sean? Hey man, how's it going? Uh, hello, Father. Tell me, what would you do when someone has stolen from you? That's a loaded question. What's been stolen from you? Institute property is not often taken from us. We cannot react lightly when it happens. The group that calls themselves the Railroad have acquired several synths from the Institute. Synths that had gone missing in recent months. And they no doubt mean to free these synths, in their delusion that synths are somehow... sentient beings. You've been in contact with the Railroad, so you're aware of their misguided beliefs. What happened? What have they done? They are in possession of technology that does not belong to them. Usually, they are a minor nuisance, but lately they have become more... emboldened. I'm afraid we've reached the point where a response is necessary. We have learned the current location of these synths, and need to reacquire them before the railroad can hide them. Hmm. Where are the synths located? A small settlement at the old Bunker Hill Monument. But it's important that we act on this soon, before the railroad has any indication we've tracked them. We also don't want the Brotherhood of Steel getting wind of the presence of the synths. That would only complicate matters. Hmm. Is it just me, or will I have backup? Of course, sir. We'll be waiting for you outside Bunker Hill. You'll have support should you need it. But we want to keep this small. Hmm. Reach Bunker Hill. Optional. Inform the Brotherhood. Optional. Inform the Railroad. Um, son? Son. I trust you'll resolve the situation at Bunker Hill quickly... and quietly. Hmm. This is a bit of a conundrum. And in times of worry, in times of anxiety and strife, I often think... to rib cages. Rib cage? What would you do? Would you go to Bunker Hill? Would you inform the Brotherhood? Would you inform the railroad? Or would you go back to Walden Pond and get a wrench? Seriously, no wonder I passed over this thing. It's a wrench. I never bother looking at wrenches. And I had walked past it and I looked at the comments and they were like, no, you missed a legendary weapon. And uh, there was one comment that said, uh, it's the wrench. And I'm like, oh my God, there big Jim. 20% chance to cripple the target's leg. I'm also gonna take this jet and this glue. Why isn't the glue one of the chems? You can sniff the... Anyway, our... Oh! There's even more. Alright, uh, yeah, now I guess I should probably do the things I'm gonna do. Can I talk to you? Something on your mind? Uh, yeah. The Institute knows about Bunker Hill. They're planning to recapture the synths there. The timing couldn't be worse. The old man's been sitting on those four synths. There's nowhere else that's safe we could put them. Maintaining your cover is vital. But this, the sacrifice is just too great. 
Stockton and the Synths are depending on us. We can't let them down. Well said. We've never known when and where the Institute would strike us next. But now we have a chance to turn the tables. We wait until the enemy is in position, then we hit them hard. No one they send out comes back alive except you. Understand? Won't the Institute be suspicious if I'm the only one left? You're a lot tougher than anyone else in their outfit. If only one person could survive, it would be you. And any story you come up with won't be contradicted. We can't attack too early. We need to draw them into the kill zone, and then spring the trap. You'll know when. You'll probably have a coarser escort. You'll have to take him down. You've done it before, but it'll still be dangerous. Hmm. Well, this'll be an interesting challenge. It's a risk, but it's one we have to take. So get it done. Well, I decided to inform the Railroad. But what about the Brotherhood? I have something urgent to report, Elder. The Institute is attempting to recover escape synths at Bunker Hill. How did you obtain this information? Our reconnaissance hasn't reported anything of the sort. <laughs> I have it on good authority. You'll just have to trust me. Protecting your source, is it? Very well. Since you've given me no reason to doubt you in the past, your word will suffice. Your report provides us with a golden opportunity to state our intentions to the Institute. I'm placing you in command of this mission. Exterminate the Sense at Bunker Hill, and whomever the Institute sends to retrieve them. I'll instruct Kells to assign you the appropriate backup. Dismiss, soldier. I've informed both. And you might be wondering, why inform both? Why inform either one of them? And here's the thing. Right now, everybody loves Grit Jones. Everybody. Currently, I am friends with every single faction. There's really no reason to try and tip the scales in, in one direction or the other. The Institute loves me, the Brotherhood loves me, Railroad loves me, and Preston Garvey will not stop calling me on the phone. So, like, everybody loves Grit Jones. It makes sense to me to inform everyone and keep them in the know. It also means that the Battle of Bunker Hill could get very interesting. All right, so now that we've done that, we've informed these folks, now all that's left to do is go to Bunker Hill. Man, it has been a while since I've been here. The only problem is that even though I'm I'm playing all sides and Grit Jones is super good at that, I still have to make some decisions in here because I've got the Institute who really wants me to return the synths. I've got the Brotherhood who wants me to kill the synths. And then I've got the Railroad who kind of wants me to do half and half. They want me to save the synths but kill the Courser. My god, decisions, decisions. Uh, let's see, where do we... wait. I'm at Bunker Hill. Apparently where I need to be is over here. Better get a weapon for protection. This must be where I'm meeting the Courser. I've been waiting for you. So, what's our situation? I assume you've been briefed? Our targets are inside. Four cents under railroad protection. Majority of the settlement is uninvolved and are expected to run for cover. The mission's parameters just changed. We go in shooting. Requesting backup relay now. Oh, yeah. Um. Oh, I know what's going on. Everyone's here because I told them that they should be here. So the Vertebirds are here. And the railroad is here. And the synths are here. Wild. Apparently I do have it. It looks like I have an enemy. Although, it, who knows what it could, it could be like a super mutant or something. There's named people? K? Who is... Oh, there's a raider. <laughs> You're not the right faction to be here. Oh my god. Things are going down, man. Holy crap. Oh, I got experience. Wait, why am I getting experience? Why did I get experience? I didn't have. I haven't actually shot anybody. The. I shouldn't get experience for the, for anyone getting killed. Or maybe I do because I'm technically on their team. I don't know. These are. So these are people that actually work here. Oh God. You guys okay? It's just a flesh wound. They're fine. 
Probably not happy about the grenade. This is nuts. Oh my god. There's like a vertebrate that's gonna crash into Bunker Hill. This is all crazy. No one is shooting at me. Wow. I'm ba- like... I've made friends with everyone. There's a huge battle ensuing. There's more people that are here than would have been here because I've informed everyone of the battle. And they're just- they're killing each other. Oh, hey, stuff. Railroad Armored Coat Mark 1. What is that? Huh. I mean, that's still not as good as the Under Armour that I wear, because I got my fatigues, and my fatigues seem better than that. Huh. Still good. I'll take your grenade. Oh, man. Oh, my God. I just realized that all these people are dying, and I could just walk around and take their stuff. No one's shooting at me. No one wants me dead. Everybody loves Grit Jones. Like, the railroad are walking around shooting everyone, and they're like, Oh, there's Grit Jones. He's our guy. And then the synths are like, Oh, Grit Jones. Yes, that is father's son. Great. And the Brotherhood's like, Our man, soldier Grit Jones. And I'm just like, Okay, but do you have anything cool? Like, what do you have? Can I take your, st can I take your stuff? It's actually far less bodies than, than it, it's, it's insinuating. Yeah, now the Brotherhood are here. They're tearing through people. Oh my god. This is... God, it's, it's, it's humorous. Honestly, it's, of, of all of the things it is, it's, it's really funny. Because they're just, they're killing each other, and they, none of them want to shoot me. Do you have anything? Oh, you have something. Let's see, muffled. Oh, here's some stuff I can have. Because someone got incinerated. Oh, hey, are you okay? Yeah, you're fine. Oh my god. Alright, I already checked you. Is there people in here that are dead? I'm just- hi, Hello everyone, I'm Grit Jones. I'm the guy that's on your team. If you're wondering who I'm talking to, the answer is literally all of you. Uh, I'm just- I'm just here to, uh, to see if you have any money. <laughs> or ammo, once you die. Oh my god. And it- they don't- it, Are they just continually spawning? Crazy. I'm just kind of making my laps. Shit. I think some of them are outside, actually. Oh yeah, there's some- there's fighting going on out here. That's a caravan guard. Wait, why- why is the caravan guard- The railroad- the railroad is fighting the caravan guards. Do they even know what they stand for anymore? The caravan- the caravans, if anything, would be like helping- to protect the synths. And the railroad want to free the synths, so why on earth would they be sh- I don't know. The game is super confused. The only thing the game understands is don't hurt Grit Jones. And my guy is still alive too. Yeah, the caravan guard is- He might have a lot of money. Can you kill him? Oh, I think the caravan guard's actually invincible. Because he went down and, and got back up. See that there's some fighting going on in here? Cool. My bets are on both of you. Whoever, whoever loses, I win. Although I'm gonna say that the Brotherhood, yeah, probably gonna take you out. I'm gonna just take this, thanks very much. Huh. Doop doop. Uh, I'm pretty sure my Courser dude's invincible. Let's see what we got. Caravan Guard, Caravan Guard. Yeah, they're like their own faction. Very strange. Alright, the, the battle seems to be... From what I can tell, the battle seems to be dying down. It's basically these folks. He goes down, but he never actually dies. Because you look bored, so this must be... It must be mostly over. over Who's outside? Who are you shooting at now? Are there more synths? My god, you have a Gatlin laser. That's pretty cool. Can I... Can I have that? <laughs> Alright, I guess... Because I don't have to fight, I just go in the door. Caravan guard said it's over. It's never going to end as long as... Oh, he died. High-speed shredding minigun. Hollow tag. You have some armor, which you don't really need. BOS uniform. Oh, he picked up the thing. Oh, he's using it to kill the guys. For a minute, I thought this was Proctor Ingram, and I was like, oh, that's going to be... Uh, 
can be awkward. So here's what I've concluded. I've concluded that the only person who is invincible is the courser. So basically, the courser fights until he gets knocked down, and then he gets up and kills literally anyone. And that's how it works. Okay, you had the Gatlin laser. Which is neat, but I could probably find a, a, a special one at some point in the future. Um... So... Did... Are we good? I guess we're good. Um... The caravan guards... Do they care now that the guy is here? Courser? Alright, well I've, uh, I've done a bunch of nothing, so I'm gonna go into the basement. That was hands down one of the funniest and also anticlimactic things I've ever seen. Uh, just for the fact that, like, it assumes that you, I guess you would have picked a faction, so you're gonna be like, you have friends with you and you're trying to kill the enemy factions. And like, instead of that, like, all that happened was that every, like, they're, they're, I don't even have the courser with me, and they're in the other room killing each other. Which is wild. So wait. Hold on. Uh, let me just see here. So I, so one of my missions, it's just gonna, don't, don't look at me like that. I'm just checking my data here. One of my missions for this, find the escape synths. Is it a miscellaneous? No, it's not miscellaneous. It's just what they told me to do. So the railroad... The Brotherhood wants me to kill all the synths. The railroad says to kill you... ...and then free the synths. Um... Hmm... Do you have anything on you? Can I... Can I check that? Let's see. I'm curious... My thing is, like, if I kill you, will I piss off the Institute? Because I don't want to piss off the Institute. I want everyone to be happy sunshiny. Um... Better make this fast. Maybe they won't know this. Hmm. Well... So that takes care of that guy. Does that mean that everyone else will just... I think that means everyone else will just finish each other off, because I'm still their friends. Yeah, I don't have any red icons here. Everyone is still my friend. So let's check these people out. Can I vats? Okay, apparently I'm not close enough. I'm gonna put this away. Hey everyone, it's me, your friend, Grit Jones! Hi, I'm Grit Jones! It's me, Grit Jones! Everybody loves me, I'm Grit Jones! Oh, I'm taking damage. Why am I taking damage? Who's shooting at me? Is it just because I'm in the way of turrets? Which I guess is possible. So these are the Brotherhood. Got it. Are there any bodies? Have some bodies? And you guys are who? You're the railroad? Hi. You're the railroad. Hi, railroad. And the railroad's got their own turrets that if you stand in front of, you will take damage. Oh, someone threw a grenade. Good move. Good move. I don't know who did that, but that was pretty smart. Hmm. I don't know. This is hard. Because the Brotherhood is more well-armed, but at the same time, they the, the railroad's got turrets. So everyone watching at home, why don't you go ahead and place your bets? If you got, like, a you know, a sibling, or a spouse, or someone, go ahead and uh, make it interesting. You bet five bucks on this. Personally, I think I'm pulling... I think the railroad's gonna do it. The railroad's got a lot of stuff. You know, I just realized I can't vats any of these people, and I think this is entirely scripted and never ends. So I'm actually gonna move on. So if you bet money, then <laughs> the bet is off. Unless you said, actually, I think it's scripted. In which case, you just won five dollars. Hmm, nothing over here. Plastic bowl. Tablespoon. So that just goes on forever. Oh, another tech document. Yeah, alright. <laughs> I really don't wanna... <laughs> really don't wanna have to visit that guy anymore. Oh, almost hit that. Oh, there's nothing there. So... There's just... At this point, it's just, there is fighting. People are fighting. None of these people can die. Or at least they can't be. They they might be able to be killed. I don't know, but uh, I don't want to shoot any of uh, any of them because that could possibly cause problems. Apparently, killing the courser didn't. Oh, you guys must be the synths. Uh, hi. Anybody want to chat? Hi. Hey. Thank you for sparing us. 
Um, who's the leader here, Bruce Willis? Excuse me. We'll get somewhere safe as soon as you're gone. Um, excuse me. You've given us another chance at life. We won't forget it. Excuse me. I can't believe you do that for us. Thank you. It's kind of strange. It says, it says, deal with the escape since. Twice, actually. What? <laughs> deal with them twice. And speak with Father in the Ruins of CIT. Okay, so I can, I can kill them. Which, uh, I don't want to, I killed the Courser. Hi. Thank you for sparing us. Hmm. Maybe by not dealing with them, I've dealt with them. Maybe that's what it's all about. Sure. I don't really want to kill them. Because if I wanted to kill them, then I'm, I'm fulfilling the Brotherhood's wishes. And I'm not really trying to fulfill anyone's wishes. I'm trying to do what I want to do. So I'm going to leave you guys in this room. And, um... I guess what I'm going to do is... Apparently, what do I have to do? I have to go speak with Father? In the ruins of CIT. Alright, well, they're still down there. This literally never ends. Rumor has it that <laughs> ten years from now, they'll still be fighting. Because they're all apparently invincible. This is a weird, weird mission when you're friends with everyone. Like, it's, it's, it's hysterical. It's absolutely hysterical, but it's super weird. Everyone's just down here fighting. So, I'm gonna leave, having killed the Courser. And we'll see what happens. So this thing says, in the ruins of CIT, which I'm- I assume it just means the Institute. And I don't know why it wouldn't just say the Institute, but I come over here to the ruins of CIT. And maybe he's in here specifically? Detected. Is someone present? Come on, Good fight. Um, what the piss is going on here? I don't think I've ever been here. There's synths and super mutants. And it wants me to go up. So apparently I do need to meet him specifically here. Uh, I've never been here, have I? This doesn't look familiar at all. Weird. Like, the Institute is... is technically like the ruins of CIT. But this is the literal ruins of CIT. I've never been in here before. And it's, of course, filled with super mutants. Because every area seems to be filled with super mutants. And they're all upstairs, so I gotta be careful here. Fancy hairbrush, doggone it. The fancy hairbrushes. They are the bane of my existence, and I've always hated them. Commonwealth Institute of Technology. This is... This is where I'm supposed to go? Is it? No, I don't think so. See, I have a nut- that's the thing. One of the markers is trying to tell me to go back to the synths. And I'm not doing anything with the synths. So it's like, real confused. But that door's telling me to go outside, so it has to be this one. This has got to be the door. It's- this is all very confusing. Also, I've never been here, and there could be things here. You know, there could be, um... I don't know, a magazine or a bobblehead or something? I have no idea. But for now, I'm moving out. Is this right? No, this is right! This is glitchy. Um, weird, man. I'm not crazy, right? I don't think I've ever been in there. Doesn't seem familiar. Son? Why are we meeting here? Seems odd. John, you know... In all my years, I've never set foot outside the Institute. Not once. Since the day they brought me here. I've never had a reason. But now... This just confirms the truth I've always known. The Commonwealth is dead. There's no future here. The only hope for humanity lies below. So why come out here? To put things in perspective, I suppose. Standing here... I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared a life in this wasteland. I know that to you, I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth, 
The Institute rescued me. Both of us, really. But why refreeze me? As a failsafe, of course. I was the perfect candidate. An infant with uncorrupted DNA. But if something were to go wrong, if I died, well, the Institute realized a contingency plan was prudent. Another source of pre-war DNA, preferably related to their primary subject. It only made sense that my parents should fill that role. So you were kept alive and safe within the vault. I'll admit, when I had you released from Vault 111, I had no expectations that you'd survive out here in all this. To not only do so, but manage to find me. To infiltrate the Institute itself. Extraordinary. So it was you. You let me out. Yes. It was my decision. Certainly it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended. I... Well, I suppose I wanted to see what would happen. An experiment of sorts. I had no idea what kind of man you were, you see. Would the Commonwealth corrupt you? As it has everything else. Would you even survive? Perhaps most curious to me. Would you... After all this time... Attempt to find me? And now I know the answer. Sean, you need to know. I still love you. I can see that you do. It's... Well, it's remarkable. Soon, I hope... I hope you'll understand. Everything I've done has been for the future. A future which I hope is not in jeopardy after recent events. Bunker Hill did not go well for us. Would you care to explain what happened? Um... Uh, th there, there, there was an ambush? We were totally ambushed. They were waiting for us. You can imagine that I find that very hard to believe, given that all the intelligence leading up to this indicated we'd taken them by surprise. Bunker Hill was to cement your place as a valuable asset to the Institute. It will now only raise suspicions. And to see the Brotherhood of Steel involved in this? They had no way of knowing what was going on. I will refrain from sharing the outcome with the Directorate for the moment. Things are already in motion that this would only derail. Speaking of which... It's time for you to become more involved in the future of the Institute. I'd like you to join me inside. The Directorate is meeting, and you should be there. I'll be waiting. I've seen enough. It's time to go back in. Creepy. Um, okay. Well, that finished that... Yeah, it finished the thing. Okay. Is it on my list now? Where did it go? Oh, it's way down here. Okay, cool. I dealt with the escape synths. Well, that was good. That was nice. That kind of was a good middle ground. Like, I didn't fight anyone. They all killed each other, which was super strange and the weirdest battle ever. I killed the Courser, but they let the synths live. Did they get away? I don't know, maybe they died. I had no part of that. Attend the Directorate meeting. Huh. Let's get this Directorate meeting over with before we speak further. It's... Well... It's important. Um... Okay. Gee. I don't know what this meeting is all about, but it seems serious. We'll go to the meeting... Next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Battle Bunker Hill was weird. Probably the weirdest battle I've ever seen. And it looks like some people really want to talk. We'll talk soon. See you guys next time for more Stephen Plays. Fallout 4.